All right, YouTubers, this is JR's Diecast Cars back with another video. <coughs> I finished up the 50th anniversary five car set. I got uh, the first two I got. One was this um, 68 Kruger. Picked that up at a Walgreens a few, well, last week, I think. Of course, you guys have seen all these. Um, and then I, I picked up the Camaro the same day I picked up the Kruger. There it is. And yesterday I was in at a uh, Kroger's and I finished up the other three of the castings that I needed. Um, this one here is a 68 Hemi Barracuda. Plymouth Barracuda, I think. That one there. And then I picked up the Mustang. I like the Mustang a lot. Quite a bit, actually. Now right, we're going to take this one off and set it back here for right now. With Camaro and uh, Kruger. There's the Mustang. Last one is the, <coughs> excuse me guys, VW Bug. I didn't think I'd find this one here, but there's quite a few in the shipper that I looked through. I only took one of each. I don't need any more now. But there's the Bug. It's a pretty cool set. I like it. Um, when I was there, I uh, found a couple other cars. And, uh, well, actually, one other car. Um, somebody went through the shipper and it had uh, 50, 50th anniversary cars. They had uh, um, the. Hot Wheels 50th anniversary, the ones in the black card. I did find a couple of chase pieces. Now I've got one coming from a friend of mine. If he, if you're watching this, but I still want it. These here are just extra ones I'm going to hold on to for a while. Probably be trade bait for me. But uh, I got two of those out of that shipper. And uh, somebody... Uh, Whoever went through it didn't look very good because I found a Nissan Fair Lady Z Super. That hunt there is pretty cool looking. Um, still up in arms to open it or not. I don't know yet. Uh, I mean, I thought about trading it off, but I also thought about keeping it. I don't know what to do. And then... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Walgreens, and uh, somebody had went through a, a little, uh, oh, it's a little table type thing they had up, set up, and they had Hot Wheels in it, and I found this super in there. Now this one here, I am going to open up. It's got a creased card, cards creased up here. But uh, this is a cruiser bruiser. Um, I didn't think I'd be a very good fan of this, but it don't look too bad, actually. So we're going to take it out of the package. Oh, see, that was easy enough. But here it is. I mean, it's not detailed out, which they're normally not, but it does. It's got plastic base, rubber wheels. They're not a bad looking little piece, really. Looks pretty good. But uh, there it is. It'll go with the rest of my hunts that I have loose. Um, like I said, I don't know about this one yet, guys. Oh man. Um, look, I, I mean, I am an opener, and as long as I can find them for a buck, I'll open them. You know what? Let's get it out of the package. 
Just say to heck with it. This one here I never thought I would find, actually. And I'm glad I did. I, at first, I didn't even notice it. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a plastic body. Our base, rubber wheels, metal body. It's, it looks pretty cool out of the package, actually. Like I say, just go good with my other supers that I've got. So here's this one here. But, uh, and then I also found, um, I went to, uh, Walmart by where I live I didn't I mean I found a few things I thought was pretty cool um, I did find uh, Nissan Skyline GTR R33 in purple that's pretty cool casting I love the purple on it the color is pretty sharp got the first release color in this but uh yeah, see, they detailed it out pretty good. They got the lights, something on the license plate. Yeah, that collar is tough looking. Headlights. Yeah, I love that collar. Shines. Let's take this super off. Set it off over here. There's a skyline. Or a skyline. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, guys. Anyways, y'all know what it is. It is a Nissan Skyline GTR. Yes, it is. Okay. And then I found the 82 Nissan Skyline R30 in a new collar. This one here I'm glad I found. Because that red, the first one come out was tough looking. This one here looks pretty cool, too. I got an extra one. I'm going to use it for customizing eventually. But let's free this thing here. This thing's detailed out too. It's got painted tail lights, Hot Wheel logo right there on the license plate. And it's nice. I like this. Looks pretty tough. Yeah. I like the first collar. I like this one here just as good, if not better. Um, and then, uh, this is going to be a matchbox piece. I don't know if I have this or not, but it's the Mercedes Benz GLE Coupe. To me, this is a, a new, new one for me. Um, I don't know if I have it or not, but I mean, I love the matchbox castings. Most of them, not all of them, but the majority of them. Because this one here is detailed out too. But, uh. Matchbox does a fantastic job on their castings, man. They, they're they hitting it out of the ballpark. There's this one there. <coughs> but, um, let's see. I think that's about it, guys. Um, if anybody's interested in one of those uh, Camaros, uh, just hit me up. Maybe we can work something out. And uh, I can trade Trade, I'll trade one off or something. You, uh, y'all just, uh, get a hold of me. Let me know. And, uh, guys, this is gonna be it on this one. I'll see you on the next video. Y'all have a blessed evening and, uh, good luck on the hunting.